What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since about Friday the 13th in this video here again today and talking about an idea that another concept that Tom McLaughlin who wrote Jason Lives who I'm sure that's probably the, the most favorite Friday the 13th to a lot of you out there. Um, he shared a concept with Bloody Disgusting on Friday the 13th that just recently passed talking about his prequel idea for a for a concept titled or film I guess he hopes to happen someday or a limited series titled Diary of Pamela Voorhees and this is based on Victor Miller's character of Pamela Voorhees and her young son Jason now this is coming from him the story takes place in post World War II Middle America people are uncertain afraid of the unknown and untrusting this is the world Mrs. Voorhees and Jason must face on the night of June 13 1946 an abused 16 year old Pamela gives birth to a facially disfigured mentally challenged boy she names jason over the next 10 years we see the painful life this shunned single mother must survive to raise and protect her jason who most of all these people treat as a freak her psychopathic mind turns darker than vengeful as she brutally kills any detractor of her son they then move on pamela fantasizing on finding some place that's truly theirs both the film and limited series conclude with their arrival at camp crystal lake may 19th 1956 so he went on to further say that this would allow them to explore deeper the inside of Pamela deeper and how she feels and going into saying this particularly even more unsettling as we hear her psychopathic and sociopathic thoughts and plans. So he wanted to approach this as if this was a true story. Every event and character are believable. No supernatural aspects as extreme as her murders are. They are passion kills. Serial killers like Eileen Wernos are more emotionally horrifying being connected a belief or honest rationalization. There's also a deeply disturbing and creepy aspect seeing the child Jason watching may be learning from his mother's savage murders. Blood splattered Mrs. Voorhees embraces her son with a genuine mother's warmth gently explain to him why these wicked people need to die if we don't kill them jason they'll keep hurting more people like us there's no god who will punish them only us jason so we will all continue to wait for the outcome of the settlement and james and i james is the james sweet also worked on this concept with them he says james and i will keep tinkering and tweaking the script um, and then he said, meanwhile, happy birthday, Jason, and happy Friday the 13th to all you Friday fans and keep making those fan funded films. You guys may truly be the future of the Voorhees family. So he also shared the poster of this down below, as you see on your screen. Now, my thoughts on this are it sounds intriguing, but I don't know how all of you are feeling about that. Would you like to see something like that go on where it's also revealed that Pamela was already a killer prior to the events of what happened at the camp with Jason's death? that she actually was going out of her way to kill people who were nasty towards her son prior to him being a victim of bullying and drown or quote unquote drowning at crystal lake uh and then i guess this could lend into like a narrative i was thinking of where jason this whole time already knew his mother was a killer she knew he was alive she was hiding him in the in the woods in that cabin and just was going around killing people who tried to open up camp crystal lake again especially going after the counselors who were responsible in her eyes for why he ended up the way he ended up because they weren't watching him they they were making love as she pointed out now exploring pamela in this manner i think yes again could be interesting but i think at this rate because of how iconic and synonymous jason has become with this franchise no one is going to be interested in that on a larger scale it's not to say that this movie can't be a, if this were to become a thing this can't be a massive success at the box office it just feels as though people these days given how starved they are of jason content outside of just of course things like this the fan films like never hike alone if something official were to be done seems like they want jason seems like they want jason in some capacity adult jason with that hockey mask we know there's a split with sean s cunningham and victor miller and what miller has the possibilities of doing without adult jason versus what sean could do but he would first have to come to an agreement him and victor would have to come to a meeting of the minds and say you know what let's put all this aside and make a movie that everyone wants to see and make money Money off of it in the long run they would have to put all of that aside in favor of this this fandom for friday the 13th getting something that they want to see because at this rate it doesn't seem like we're going to get that anytime soon uh, i do like the concept here that again tom mclaughlin has expressed i know there are fans of the
And I know there are fans of Jason Lives who would probably be open to seeing this concept come to life in some capacity. But again, I think that as a fandom collectively, people want to see adult Jason in a hockey mask. This might be something that's better suited, yes, for a limited TV series, and you could explore it like that. And then a movie, we could get, you know, you could get fed two ways. You can get a limited Pamela Voorhees series like this that goes into a little bit of a backstory to her, and then you can get adult Jason on the big screen. I don't think people would be more in favor of this for the big screen as much as they would be open to it, but done in a limited series type of thing, maybe through a streaming platform, and then you could work on a adult Jason hockey match movie for the next Friday the 13th this could be a movie that's following up to the to the 2009 movie I don't know they could do something related to trying to connect it to all of these other movies we got I don't think they should try to connect this in any way to Jason X I don't think we want to see a not say there's none of you out there I just think it's going to be a little bit challenging to tackle a movie set in 24 whatever that was it, i might even be a little off by a couple centuries it's either in the 2400s or maybe a little bit less than that but they they were ahead in the future in that movie so i don't know if you would necessarily be able to accomplish something fulfilling there but you can definitely explore an adult jason hockey mask movie if victor miller and sean cunningham come up with something that they both agree on and are able to say you know what we can do this i'm not gonna be petty you're not going to be petty let's come together let's make some money let's give some fans what they want to see and let's bring jason back to the big screen because at this rate victor miller had already talked about doing something that pertains to a young jason and seeing his life i guess at crystal lake or doing like not that he talked about it but that attorney that was talking about what was possible for him and going over like a limited series they could do for crystal lake things like that so it's nice to know that tom mclaughlin also has his mind working in terms of his direction he would like to take this series because he's already done another concept that relates to it being a sequel to the film that he wrote which again was jason lives and i think he also has come out and stated that that movie would kind of have some vibes of a never hike alone it was going to be set in the snow i think i think he also shared some concept art about that i've done a video talking about it but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.